Oh, look at that. Putin's awesome. <laughs> Mr. Chang, whoever thought Putin was actually telling truth, but he he's also a Zionist. Not a Zionist like uh, Biden and Trump and RFK. Not even close. He has... Russia has huge connections to Israel because a lot of Israelis in Russia, in uh, a lot of Israelis in Israel, there's two main sources of Israelis in Israel, Russia and the United States, right? And a lot of the Russian Israelis that are living there, they send money back or they used to anyway <laughs> they're good i don't think they're gonna be doing that for too much longer right uh sending back to russia money back to russia the new york uh fanatics zionists shit ton of them in israel all right okay boomer mass formation psychosis it breeds over to places where one would not expect indeed Taxation is more of a problem than uh, corruption. Wabin says, I, I'd say overbearing regulation and taxation is more of a uh, problem than uh, corruption. But that's what it is. Taxation and regulation is corruption. right? But regulation that concentrates economic power is basically soft corruption. Yeah, that's what it is. Right? Mr. Chang, 24 years. I mean, he's a dictator, but that's not easy. Uh, Mr. Chang, he's not a dictator. How long was Pelosi in power in the United States of America? More than 24 years, right? So if a people of a nation want to elect someone to represent them, they have a right to, however long that person lasts, right? Right? I wouldn't elder guy. I wouldn't call Putin a dictator. Oh, elder God didn't say that. Gandalf said that. What did elder God say? Putin, Churchill. Oh, let's see, elder God. I missed that. Uh, Putin says Churchill was a useful narcissist in wartime, but in peace, his character was revealed. Putin is actually the great ally to Orthodox Jews. Yes, but not to the Zionists. Not to the Zionists. The neocon Zionists. The warmongering Zionists, right? Putin is walking such a bloody fine line that I'm amazed that he was able to empower Russia to the level he was he was able to. Like where Russia is now compared to 24 years ago before Putin came into power, you can't compare it. Like it's like all of a sudden Bangladesh rising to become a new like not a nuclear power but a first world power. sharp sound how are you doing salutations wasp with buzzing me gandalf my conspiracy theory is that nancy pelosi is in fact 137 years old possibly a vampire a vampire ali thumb uh f grass i want uh, i have to mow it every day yeah I, w I don't want grass i want to be barefoot in my garden might <laughs> be right bby <laughs> yeah baby i think that's what bby stands for i don't know yeah i don't the grass is only good for kitty like i grow grass here for kitty cats to eat and they like eating grass so they don't eat any of the other plants right lark bark putin has held a uh, continuous position as president or prime minister since 1999 as pr prime minister from 1990 to 2000 and from 2008 to 2012 and as president from 2000 to 2008 and since 2012 and keep this in mind when he wasn't prime minister is when the western powers when the other guy i forget his name he's very active on twitter when he was prime minister they didn't prevent the western world from annihilating libya that's why putin stepped in again by the way because he, he wanted to step out right lavrov too he's wanted to retire for years right but he can't because the west is waging a war on russia when Ru putin removed himself as prime minister the western world 
found an opportunity to annihilate Libya. That was a big mistake on Russia's part, by the way. In the UN, I believe, they uh, didn't veto the uh, no-fly zone that the West was uh, wanted to push on Libya. And as soon as they pushed that no-fly zone, they bombed the crap out of an annihilated country. Uh, Russia hasn't forg forgiven themselves for doing that, for allowing the West to do that. All right? Plutonic players. To govern a quiet, diverse, and a huge country and nation like Russia is difficult. Putin was and is the stabilizer, not a full Democrat, but the West is going away from its ideals too. Yeah, agreed. Every form of government, one form of government is not the ideal form of government for every place in the nation. Some people want to live under a theocracy. I don't. Some people want to live under uh, an oligarchy. I don't. Some people want to live under a monarchy. I don't. Right? But no matter what form of government you live under, you have no right to tell people across the globe that they should not live under that form of government. It's their choice. Right? It's their choice. Plutarch Morris, Russia and China didn't veto the Western move on Libya, but the West didn't keep to its word. No, they didn't. As Russia and China said afterwards, yeah, agreed. Plutonics for us. They it was supposed to be a no-fly zone, but they used that opportunity to bomb the shit out of Libya. Right? So yeah, you can't make a deal with the Western world. They don't stay true to their word. And that's been proven. And the rest of the world knows this now. Right? Now that they know this, Western world is fucked. Right? Baby, BBY, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 